Sunday, weekend ending, but still a whole day left and the weather looks pretty good. It's gonna be warmer, less wind, lots of sunshine, awesomeness. So just kind of still kind of mild to cool. Yesterday was much cooler, temperatures in the mid 60s, upper 60s, some warmer when the sun came out. Um, we're gonna do a short cast today. We are looking at an image of the last seven days. This is our weather that we did together each day. And you can see how the weather moves, number one, west to east, right? That's how uh, we figure out, uh, that's how the, the Telegraph figured out we needed a, a weather bureau, was that the storms would move from west to east. The guy in Denver would telegraph the guy in San Francisco. The guy in San Francisco would say, hey, it's windy here. Two day and a half later, guy in Denver would have a bunch of wind. So they figured out, oh, so that was kind of a historical beginnings of the Weather Bureau. But this this image is awesome. And what I like about it is you can see, well, you can see the explosiveness of our low. So here we'll go back. So this low, what's what it does? Drops down into the plains, feeds into that Gulf moisture. And then look at that. That's that severe weather from last week. So you can really see how that clash of air masses work in this case. This is the system that was going through yesterday. That'll do the same thing. It'll drop in. So here's here's the system, drops in, hits some warm moist air, gets some cold air, and poof, explodes. So super awesome. Today we're going to do short cast, warmer weather coming. You'll notice it today. You'll really notice it tomorrow on Monday and Tuesday. Less wind. Ryan's wedding went off without a hitch. He texted me or emailed me or whatever we're doing here this morning and said, uh, yeah, or I guess maybe last night he did, but he said it went really well. So they didn't get wet, had to get a tent. And I think a lot of you did. Here is the close up of uh, the state. And you can see this is right now, basically not seven days. And you can see the fog trying to establish itself, but the winds have chewed up the marine layer. So it's ha having a tough time reforming. It'll be back this week but you can see what the wind does. You can also see some of that wraparound moisture from the low, which has moved through the area and it's kind of wrapping stuff back around. So there is still a chance for some thunder showers or showers, especially down towards Mammoth. Uh, Lake Tahoe, you've got clouds right now. Mount Shasta, you are high and dry, but just a beautiful day ahead. We'll go right to, what do I got for you next? I've got, oh, we'll check out the winds. It's still windy offshore. These are the wind barbs. This is uh, a gust of 43, kind of off point rays. So that's real windy. Up by Santa Rosa, gusting to 22, sustained at 15 knots. Here's a gust of 41 up in the Central Valley. So you got some pretty big wind up around Chico, up around Redding. Chico's got a gust of 37. So that's, that's, that's pretty windy for this time of day. So the windy conditions, the breezy conditions are still out there, but diminishing, especially along the coast. There is still a small craft advisory, a gale warning, um, and those will stay in effect for a little while. And earlier, there was a storm warning off, the, off our coast, which we don't see that often. Very unusual, not unusual, but rare. Maybe twice a year in a big storm, we get a, a, a wind strong enough to issue a storm warning for wind conditions. Okay, so that's uh, things are shaping up. I hope you got a big day plan. I'm just that's kind of why I'm here now because I'm kind of planning my day. All right, I'm gonna. Oh, it's kind of clear at the beach right now, but the ocean is bumpy, and that's because of all the wind. Sutro Tower here, Pacifica, kind of in the fog here, and the fog trying to reform. But again, when the wind just rips it apart, um, and you can see the swell on the coast is pretty decent size. Swell's probably four to eight foot, four to seven foot right now, and we'll take a peek at the um, coastal sections. Uh, down in S Santa Cruz. This is Pleasure Point. And inside the point, you can see it's a pretty pleasant day. Uh, there's the swell. This is as of this morning. Looks like a nice day down there. That's the thing about Santa Cruz and Bolinas, Point Conception, Santa Barbara. When you're inside the point, it's not windy. You turn the corner. If you go up to four mile, like I said the other day, it's real windy up there. Just, you know, four or five miles up the coast. Um, and we can see the fog offshore, right? And kind of see it's fractured. It's going to try. It'll reform. And one of the things that happens, too, when it gets windy like it did, we're going to see significant upwelling, which is when this is the, the highest forecast for today. Upwelling is when the wind blows so strong, it takes that upper surface of water and moves it. And the cooler air, the cooler water is able in sort of a convection way is able to come back up. And it just stirs up the ocean so the surface layer gets much colder. And what it does is it makes temperatures, obviously, but fog forms more easily. And it throws out a bunch of nutrients for, for aquatic life. So you start seeing more. It's, I, 
it's anecdotal, but I've noticed it. You'll see more seals. You'll see just more, there's more stuff feeding, more birds. Birds are probably your best litmus. So these are the uh, forecast highs for today. So Redding goes from where they were yesterday in the 60s to 79 degrees. So it's a solid 10, 5 to 10 degrees warmer today than yesterday. And then watch what happens on Monday. Back into the upper 80s, almost low 90s. Redding tomorrow, perhaps 90 degrees, 87 in Ukiah, Bakersfield, uh, 82, uh, Southern California down towards Los Angeles, 67, Santa Barbara, 59. So warmer day tomorrow. Here's the model. This is a long range um, loop. And we're just going to go looking for anything that could be a fly in the ointment this week. I'll put a loop around us. There it is. And there we are. And this is all the way through. I'll back it up. There's our low, right? You see that going off. And then... And you know what you can do? That first image I showed you with the satellite, seven days, this kind of mimics it, right? This is the future. That was the past. But it's the same thing. See that low, our low here? Watch what it does. It goes off into the plains and kind of gets, gets some more game, gets explosive out there. She so wraps into another storm. So here we are today, tomorrow, bridge, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Hmm, looks pretty good. Looks like a nice week ahead. A little bit cooler on f f Saturday night, Sunday. That's something. That's interesting. So that's next week. It's a whole week away. So we're money. So this week is going to be marked by, oh, hey, s could you subscribe? <laughs> I know. <laughs> How clever, Bill, to sneak it in. But no, it'd be awesome if you tell a friend or subscribe or like. That's what I'm supposed to do. And I did it. Um, what I was going to say was this, as you look at the birds, and you might be able to hear them too. They're, I'm watching them today because I'm, I think they're, they're so close to being gone. The, these are the babies up at the Big Bear. Um, we are going to be warmer tomorrow, noticeably. The next day, pretty warm as well. And then temperatures cool a little bit. And then that system I showed you for sun, Saturday night, Sunday, next week, it's sort of a fly in the ointment, but it's so far off that the timing most definitely will change. But you will find temperatures tomorrow warmer. The thing you're going to notice this week, uh, less wind, fog returns, and tree and grass and weed pollens. Especially, the, I think the grasses are, it's on right now, at least in my neighborhood. So your allergies are going to start bothering you, but a dry week ahead. So if you've got outdoor activities, if you're pouring concrete or hammering on something or want to go golf or do whatever you do, there's, there's no... Um, there's no barrier to entry. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so we covered ourselves. Uh, a quick one. I appreciate it. Uh, you guys coming here, and I appreciate uh, all the comments and the likes and subscribes. Thank you. I'm working. One of the things that's funny is it's uh, my son came back. He's sort of an artist. And he goes, yeah, thumbnails, Dad. Thumbnails. Because I guess that's the whole deal. But I, I, yeah, I know. So I'm trying to do better thumbnails, which is weird, right? So, but, you know. The YouTube. YouTube's weird. Oh, and I did just get YouTube TV. I know. I know. Because it's sort of like, you think, okay, whatever. But no, it's a, it's about half the price of what I was paying. And you get about the same thing. And if you, you know, so anyway, <laughs> I saw like a cable provider. All right. I'll see you back here tomorrow.